close round one of the Totally Awesome Tournament. Block four. And what a way to kick that off with General Grievous versus The Flash. This is a very uh, interesting matchup that has been put together for uh, the final block of this tournament. Four matches like always. Hopefully the ring won't freaking break like it did yesterday. That cost me a pretty penny, not gonna lie. And I just... Good thing I just got monetized. Good thing I just got monetized so I can pay for a brand new ring. And I, Howard Stern cussed me out. I was like, I told you to get the quad... I know, I should have had the quadruple reinforcement. My bad, okay? My bad. But enough about that. Uh, here comes General Grievous, former hardcore champion here at TAW, going up against The Flash, who is another former hardcore champion. Uh, tonight we also have John Cena versus Knuckles. That's probably the match I'm looking forward to most, not gonna lie. Um, we also have Jeff the Killer versus Venom. And our main event is a verifiable David versus Goliath matchup. Battle of the Green Boys, or at least the boys who like the color green. Deku versus Broly in our main event. David versus Goliath, except in anime. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm very concerned about the Flash because General Grievous is, you know, kind of scary. Although, fun fact, fun fact, General Grievous, along with Cooler, uh, have the shortest reign in TAW history as far as tag team titles are concerned. They were tag team champions for, uh, not even a month. Not even a month. They won them on, uh, the last, uh, not the, I think it was the last episode of TAW action. Uh, and then they immediately lost them at Hardcore Paradise, so... Uh, yeah, not a great time to be General Grievous and Cooler, and they lost the rematch on Rivals, uh, but can't, uh, and Cooler lost the round one matchup against Sephiroth. Can General Grievous put a W on the board here in this matchup, going up against the Flash, and here we go. Oh my god! Bad start for the Flash, just runs right into two enormous headbutts. Oh god, say a prayer for your friend Barry Allen. Uh, and a big uh, slingshot suplex. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Oh, <laughs> just got suplex right on his neck. Oh no. And oh my god. <laughs> no, he's trying to murder the flow. Oh my god. Oh no. What, Barry? I mean, this is kind of what you get for sucking so much ass, not gonna lie. Gets launched into the right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're watching a murder. We're watching legalized murder. Grievous, just pin him. Grievous. General Grievous, calm down. Alfred, I, I, I might would stop this match if I were you, Alfred. This is getting ugly. Uh, okay. Who picked Flash winning this match, honestly? Oh, uh, he's already going for the Jedi Killer. He's, oh, he's already got him hooked for the Jedi Killer. Oh, dear God. <laughs> that is just painful to look at. That is just painful to look at. Oh, Grievous not done yet. And oh, he's got him in uh, the Utapau clutch. He's got it locked in. We saw him tap out someone in the Elimination Chamber with this. Oh, Lord. Yep, all right. And the Flash taps out <laughs> quickly and frantically. Grievous wins via murder. Uh, so, uh, wouldn't be the first time an E-Fed has seen a literal homicide. Uh, so yeah, Flash is dead. Funeral's tomorrow. Um, that was fast. Hey, that's what the Flash is good at. Uh, he, it, was, it was over quick. General Grievous destroys the Flash to move on to the next round. Good lord. I, I, honestly, I kind of knew it was over the second the Flash went face first into a headbutt. That That's when, honestly, I kind of knew. Uh, so yeah, Grievous wins. Uh, that, that, that was honestly kind of hilarious, but we're moving on. Hopefully this will be a tad more competitive. <laughs> are we, are we even allowed to show what just happened on YouTube? I don't know. Uh, I just got monetized as well. Uh, Jeff the Killer versus Venom up next. Uh, speaking of short matches, how is Jeff the Killer going to bounce back after the humiliation he suffered, uh, at Hardcore Paradise that continued on TAW Rivals? First up, uh, at Hardcore Paradise, he lost the first blood match to Deku in like a couple minutes because Jason Voorhees turned on him and broke up the Hounds of Horror. And then he tried to get a little bit of retribution on Jason on TAW Rivals after Jason defeated Slenderman. Slenderman, of course, uh, advanced uh, yesterday via submission over Dale Jr. 
Uh, he tried to get some retribution on uh, Jason Voorhees, only to be stopped by Michael Myers. So things have not been going Jeff's way, and he's going to look to change that here tonight, uh, going up against a former hardcore champion. Uh, I believe Venom's a. I believe Venom's a former. He's a former Excalibur champion. Carnage is the one who's a former three-time hardcore champion. He's going up against a former Excalibur champion. Uh, Venom would be a two-time Excalibur champion if he is to win this tournament uh, over the next couple weeks and months. But he's going to have to get through uh, Jeff the Killer in order to do so. And now might be a good time. Because, again, Jeff the Killer just went through a breakup. Uh, it was a long, uh, honestly, losing relationship. Uh, him and the other members of the Hounds. Him, him, and, him and Slender Man are still friends. Him and Slender Man are still friends. So, at least they have that going for them. Uh, Slender Man advanced in the tournament yesterday. Jeff the Killer looking to follow suit. But he has to go up against the, the black suit uh, with a scary looking face known as Venom. And here we go. Jeff and Venom. Uh, and look at this, Jeff immediately, and I think Venom realized it, immediately absconded with the turnbuckle pad, exposing the metal. Yeah, I think he was a little shaken by his defeat at Hardcore Paradise and the breakup of the Hounds of Horror. And that and <laughs> immediately pays for it. Gets launched back first into the exposed turnbuckle. That might not have been smart. And a springboard, cross body, hooking the leg, one, but only a one count for Jeff the Killer. First pinfall attempt of the night. Well, Mr. Clothesline, neckbreaker, oh, like, and, and doing cover, not even a one. Not even a one. A oh, springboard kick to the face, that is classic. Dare I say vintage, Jeff the Killer and a knee strike right to the face, jumping knee drop. Now Jeff, springboard, oh, and went for two too many. Venom saw that one coming, and oh, nice combination of strikes. Almost launched him into the exposed uh, steel again. Oh, he's got him up fireman, scary style. And that was almost a lunar eclipse. Nice fireman's carry slam right there by Venom, former Excalibur champion. And now Venom, uh, I think it's clear that Venom has the strength advantage and the size advantage. Jeff probably more of a brawler and perhaps the speed advantage. Oh, look at this, full Nelson and just slamming him, slamming him jaw first into the turn. That is unique. Full Nelson jaw slam into the turnbuckle. Jeff the Killer with some vicious offense. And again, wants to wash the bad taste of Hardcore Paradise out of his mouth. Because again, he didn't even last a couple minutes. Although again, that wasn't entirely his fault. I mean, Jason cost him the match. But a nice springboard leg drop. And, and so did Michael Myers. But Irish whip into the ropes. It's, oh, a disrespectful shove by Venom right there. Just launching Jeff the Killer to the ground. And now Venom looking to build some momentum here. Venom in control, throwing him into the corner. Oh, is he going to go for that uh, springboard out of the corner again? And he hits him with another springboard crossbody out of the corner, but did not go for the pin. And what is Venom doing here? What is Venom doing? Oh, elbow right to the back, right to the spine. Perhaps softening him up. Oh, going for that leg hook choke slam, and he nailed it. Is Venom going to advance? One, two, no. Kick out at two. Jeff the Killer stays alive. That... That was some devastating offense. Oh, perhaps going for another fireman's carry slam, but oh, got counter with an elbow right to the face. Oh, off the counter. Schoolboy. One, two. Oh, almost caught him there. That was a close one. And oh, big clothesline. Jeff the Killer trying to get back in this match. That schoolboy was a little bit closer than I thought it was going to be. Almost caught Venom by surprise, but a shot to the gut. Oh, setting up for that. And oh, axe kick right to the back of the head. Will that be enough? Into the cover. One. Two, but Venom kicks out at two. Back and forth here in this matchup. Oh, going for the GTS. Oh, but a counter. Counter into a reverse DDT. Man, that that would have been lights out right there. Almost nailed him with a GTS. Oh, going for another leg hook choke slam. But Jeff firing back with some more elbows. Oh, and now utilizing the exposed turnbuckle that he unveiled at the beginning of the... Oh, wait. Oh, no, not Snake Eyes. And Snake Eyes right into the exposed steel. Damn it. That might be a knockout right there. Just, just exactly when Jeff needed it. Oh, and Venom with spaghetti legs. And he's going for the GTS again. But this time, Jeff nails him with the go to sleep. First, the exposed turnbuckle. One, two, and three. Jeff the killer. I mean, he did it by himself. But still, I mean, he probably wouldn't have beaten Venom if it weren't for the exposed turnbuckle. I mean, just slammed him face first into it. He could have honestly pinned him right there. But he hit him with the GTS just to make sure Venom would stay down. And now Venom is out of the tournament. Jeff the Killer advances. And we're going to get Jeff the Killer versus General Grievous. That, that is going to be something. That is going to be interesting. But Jeff the Killer moves on thanks to an exposed turnbuckle pad. 
as soon as the match started. So Jeff had a game plan coming into the, coming into tonight. But I'm not, I am very interested in this one. This honestly could be like a tournament, like a tournament stealer match of the night, whatever you want to call it. John Cena versus Knuckles. Five Knuckle Shuffle versus uh, Knuckle. This is plural. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But anyway, we have John Cena versus Knuckles in a singles match. I am very interested in how this match is going to turn out. Uh, John Cena, of course, unsuccessful in his numerous bids to become the TAWTF champion. Changing uh, his uh, direction here and uh, putting his sights on the Excalibur title and a world title opportunity at Crash Course 2. And just has to make his way through, you know, 31 other people in this tournament in order to do so. He's got to defeat Knuckles here tonight and move on for the rest of the tournament. Uh, will we see him in the semifinals and the finals at the championship showdown in a couple months? We will see, but again, his first obstacle comes in the form of Knuckles. And let me tell you, he doesn't chuckle. Uh, but anyway, uh, I wonder how much Sonic John Cena is aware of. Does, does, so does, does John Cena know what Knuckles is? Not even who he is, but what he is. Uh, but anyway, so, and of course, our main event right after this, David versus Goliath, but the anime, the manga, uh, Broly versus Deku, that is going to be interesting. But here comes Knuckles. This, honestly, I think would be the biggest victory in the career of Knuckles. I mean, beating John Cena, that would be huge for his career. Uh, and to move on, and I mean, his friend Sonic, both Sonic and Shadow have already been bounced from the tournament. So, can Knuckles be the lone member of the Sonic franchise to make it on through? We will see. Oh, I'm telling him you can't see him. That may have been a... <laughs> wow, that might have been a mistake. Do not tell Knuckles you can't see him. Or that he can't see you. That He took that as a challenge. Challenge accepted. And went flying in with a forearm. And Knuckles all over John Cena right now. Oh, went for an axe handle. All got caught. And the clearly, John Cena has... The, actually, I don't know. I mean, he has the size advantage. But, oh, big clothesline. These, both of these guys are pretty strong. And I would say that Knuckles has the striking advantage because his name is literally Knuckles. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh big shoulder. Oh, is it like going for the five moves of doom early here? Bouncing off the ropes. Oh, but gets caught with an inverted atomic drop and a spinning back fist right there, knocking down John Cena. Oh, this is going to be interesting here. I mean, both of these guys are brawlers, but I do think Knuckles is a better brawler. John Cena might have the strength advantage. And the wrestling advantage, but John Cena firing back with some strikes, and again telling him that you can't see me. And again, Knuckles countered. Perhaps the key to victory is Knuckles responding to that specific taunt. I don't know. Uh, but now uh, John Cena firing back. Oh, look at this. Oh, go behind, and a nice wrestling takedown right there. John Cena showing off some chain grappling. And now, oh, but Knuckles firing back. He's like, get your chain grappling ass in here for this big clothesline. I'm going to knock you down. And I'm going to lay your ass down for a three-second tan. Now Knuckles is going to start stealing song lyrics. And now, oh, trying to hyperextend that knee right there. Interesting uh, strategy for Knuckles here. I'm going to take out the vertical, vertical base and the power. And again, going after the left leg of Cena. And now look at it. He's got that weird Shawn Michaels inverted figure four leg lock uh, applied, but not in for very long, but still doing damage to the vertical base of John Cena. And an elbow to the back of the head. Knuckles appears to be in control. And now an arm ringer. Oh, counter by Cena. Counter by Cena. Oh, and now Cena's like, you're going to attack my legs? I'm going to attack yours. Both competitors going after uh, each other's legs. Was not expecting this coming into this matchup. But, I mean, hey, part of... J uh, John Cena loves to employ the STF. And part of that is wrenching back on the... And again telling him, you can't see me, John. You got to calm down with that tongue because it's just pissing Knuckles off. But again, a uh, part of what makes the STF so devastating is it cranks back on the leg. Oh, counter, though, into a swinging neckbreaker. Float over swinging neckbreaker counter. Knuckles going to the top rope. And, oh, missile dropkick right to the chest, taking down his opponent. And again, this would be a massive career-defining victory for Knuckles. He was able to knock off John Cena in the first round of this tournament. And now Knuckles on the apron. Springboard, Asai Moonsault, wiping out John Cena. And Knuckles... Please be careful with those kind of taunts. We just got monetized. I, I never would have figured that Knuckles would be the reason I would get demonetized, but I, I guess you learn something new every day. Oh, go counter. Oh, what a punch right to the face. And an axe handle right on top of that. Knuckles into the cover. One, but only a one count. 
He's not going to beat John Cena with an axe handle, but oh, nice hip toss. John Cena jumps into that hip toss, adds a little extra stank on top of it. And now John Cena trying to keep Knuckles down here. And now John Cena with a hard Irish whip into the turn of Knuckles. Shot to the gut. Oh, here we go. Classic Cena with that big jumping fisherman suplex. Right into a cover. One, but only a one count for Knuckles. And now Knuckles back to his feet and more strike. John, again. That, that taunt's not worth It's just riling him up. Why don't you learn? But oh my god. Sunset flip power bomb into the cover. One, two, oh, one. Two, John Cena gets the shoulder. Oh, man, he almost got caught right there. Now, Knuckles firing back with some big right hands. I mean, again, his name is Knuckles, so I don't know why you're surprised, but another inverted atomic drop. And now, Knuckles. Oh, what is this? Big moonsault. Oh, the knees got Cena in the face. Now, into the cover. One, two, oh, but only a one. Almost got a two. There's a one and three-fourths right there. I love fractions, don't you? But a hard Irish whip by Knuckles into the corner. Now Knuckles, oh, oh, just plants Cena with the DDT, softening him up for, and he loves that butterfly DDT, and he us usually uses that to lead into the Knuckle Buster. And he also likes to pull out a pile driver from time to time, but John Cena with a Luthez press taking down Knuckles with some big right hands of his own, and John Cena just showcasing some power with that big belly-to-belly -belly suplex, picking him right back up, and John Cena, the master of the suplex, God wrench suplex. And now off the gut wrench suplex into the cover hook in the leg. One, two, that time he got a two count. He's starting to build some ground, uh, make some ground here against Knuckles. Uh, and oh, shot right to the back. And off that back shot, oh look at this, and a teardrop suplex. Battle of the suplexes here in this matchup. And oh, just a disrespectful stomp and another, the disrespect by Knuckles. And Cena back up. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Butterfly DDT. Oh, that was nasty. Nasty DDT into the cover. One, two. Oh, Cena just barely kicks out. Man, that was a close one. Oh, and just rocking him with that right hand. Oh, but a counter. Oh, Knuckles hangs on. Oh, oh, counter. Oh, big right hand right to the chin. And springboard cross body wiping out John Cena, but did not go for the lateral press. He staggered him with that right hand, though. Oh, oh, here we go. That pile driver I was talking about. Oh, dear God. And a sickening pile driver. Is that enough? Is Knuckles advancing? One, two. Oh, that was close. I thought that was it. That was way too close for comfort. Knuckles needs to whip out the Knuckle Buster. Oh, oh, oh counter by Cena. Oh, nice counter by Cena into a jawbreaker. He needed that to get back in this matchup. Oh, knee to the gut. Oh, John, John Cena usually likes to follow that up with that huge diving leg drop. And, oh, that might be it. He might have just knocked Knuckles out with that one. Now into the cover up in the leg. One, two. Oh, Knuckles again kicking out at two and a half. That was a close one. Off the shot to the gut. Oh, oh Cena. Oh, he's got him up. And a huge sit-out power bomb. The power behind that power bomb. And Knuckles in trouble. Into the cover. One, two. No, oh, two and a half again. Near fall after near fall in this matchup. Man, this is a back and forth battle here. Who's moving on to round two? And again, Cena, stop with the you can't see me. You're just pissing him off. Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Believe it or not, sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Cena immediately, Knuckles responds with an insiguri. Oh, but a counter. Oh, another jawbreaker. John Cena better be careful with the jawbreaker. I mean, he just suffered a pile driver. But a counter kick to the chest. Cena diving leg drop. Oh, and, he are, and, and Knuckles countered it this time with a devastating power bomb. Now Knuckles going up top himself. Moonsault. Oh, but oh, right into the knees. John Cena got the knees up. Oh, and Cena. Oh, Cena's locked and loaded. Here we go. Five moves of doom. Got the shoulder blocks. Knuckles back up. Oh, missed a clothesline. Here comes the protoplex. And he connects. Oh, okay. Will it trigger Knuckles this time? Will Knuckles have enough left in the tank to be triggered by that one gesture? You can't see me. Five knuckle shuffles connect. That can, the five knuckle shuffle, plural, just one of them. And off the five knuckle shuffle, oh, that's the prelude to the attitude adjustment. The AA connects. Oh, and Knuckles is in deep, deep trouble. Not going for the. Oh, the sixth move of Doom. STF connects. Will the damage to the leg earlier pay dividends here? And Knuckles has no choice but to tap out. John Cena wins. Man, that was a hell of a match. Back and forth throughout. And John Cena with the six moves of doom 
Five Knuckle Shuffle, Attitude Adjustment, STF Combination gets the submission victory right in the center of the ring. Knuckles had nowhere to go. Man, he doesn't chuckle, but he tapped out on this night. John Cena advances to the next round. Dude, next round we're either getting John Cena versus Deku or John Cena versus Broly. I am, I am in. I am in for either of those. But man, up next, the final match of round one. Who is advancing to round two? Who's facing John Cena to close round two? Is it going to be Deku or is it going to be Broly? I mean, Deku's got to be riding the high off of his big victory at Hardcore Paradise in that first blood match against Jeff the Killer. And again, he beat him in like a couple minutes. Thanks in part to some help by uh, Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers. And a lot of people have picked Deku to win this entire tournament. Andy picked Deku to win this tournament. Shout out to Andy. Uh, I mean, on, he, he has a shot. He has a decent shot. And honestly, he hasn't been defeated here in TAW as of yet. So Deku could very likely win this whole thing. Uh, but he has a ma oh Oh my god! Jeff! Jeff, we just saw him earlier defeat Venom. Jeff clearly still upset about what happened to Arco Paradise. And assaulting him with a sledgehammer. R right before the match could begin. And again, sledgehammer. Someone get out here and stop this. Jeff the cle Jeff's clearly still butthurt over losing to Jeff the Killer. I mean, losing to... I'm, I'm all flustered right now. Clearly bothered by his defeat in that first blood match against Deku at Hardcore Paradise. And upset about the disillusion of the Hounds of Horror. Assaulting Deku before the match can begin with a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the go to sleep. Not the go to sleep. Oh, oh my God. What just happened? Everything just went black. Everything just went black. What is happening? Um, oh shit, oh no, a Crystal Lake Stunner, that's what I'm talking about, once again, Jason Voorhees, I don't even know if he even likes Deku, I think he just hates Jeff the Killer, but either way, he once again has Deku's back, he did the same thing at Hardcore Paradise, and remember, Jeff the Killer attacked him after his match with Slenderman on Rivals, so clearly this issue between Jason and Jeff is not over with. But Jason Voorhees once again rescuing Deku here. But Deku did take several shots with that sledgehammer. Uh, and now he's got to fight Broly. Oh, this might not be a good night for Deku. I mean, he, he has a grand total of about a minute to recover from multiple sledgehammer shots. And he's going up against this Leviathan. The legendary Super Saiyan himself. I, a former internet champion, former molecular champion... I am very worried about Deku. I mean, I mean, he 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 was spared the GTS thanks to some intervention from J uh, from Jason Voorhees. But man, here comes Broly. This is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. I, I guess a, 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 an 80, 75 percent Deku versus a 100 percent Broly, who you better believe is pissed off because he lost the internet title at a Hardcore Paradise, and then he lost the rematch on Rivals thanks in part to Dante screwing him over. So Deku, who's been attacked by a sledgehammer, versus an incredibly pissed off bro I mean, when isn't Broly pissed off? That's kind of his thing. But man, does Deku have a chance? This is easily the most arduous task in Deku's career. Here we go. And oh god, Broly immediately spearing him in half. That's it. One, two, oh, Deku somehow kicks out. How in the world did Deku survive that? But... I mean, he got sledgehammered right in the gut and the face, and Broly immediately targeting him. And another spear. Broly wasting no time. Broly wasting no time whatsoever. Uh, I This might go the exact same way General Grievous and the Flash went earlier tonight. I mean, th that was not a squash. That was a murder. We might see another one here. But again, J Jeff may have already won. Jeff might have already screwed over Deku enough. I mean, he already hit him with a sledgehammer several times. And now Broly looking to take complete advantage of that. And the ref oh, got back in the ring and broke up the referee's count. I guess the count-out victory is not good enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. And a third. Oh, God, a third spear through the barricade. Deku, uh, his ribs have got to be broken. His ribs have got to be broken. Damn you, Jeff the Killer. Oh, that's got it. And the referee's already up to a count of five. Uh, now Broly looks like he's willing to take the count out. 
Oh, this might be it. This might be the first loss in Deku's career. The referee's up to a count of seven. Oh, but Deku's back up somehow. Back before the eight. And a fourth one! Oh my god! Devastating spear! That's it. One, two... How? How did Deku kick out? That was the fourth one. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, counter, counter. DDT, what a counter by Deku. How is Deku still functioning? And a springboard DDT. Come on, Deku. Uh, no way. Oh, is he calling for the Detroit Smash? Are you high? No way. He no what? Oh, my, the Detroit Smash. Pin him. Pin him, Deku. You got this. Into the cover. I Ah, oh, damn it, he's too close to the... Bro Broly's too big. Oh, I, I hate it, but that's a good call by the official. Oh, he broke up... Oh, God, his legs are under the rope. And Deku, I mean, it's inexperienced, plus he's got to be just beat all hell. Man, that, that, the damnedest rope break in a hot minute, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Irish whip counter into a big belly-to-belly -belly suplex. But, I mean, Deku's trying. I'll, get, I'll give him credit. He is trying, but... I don't know how he... If the, if the Detroit Smash isn't going to... I still don't know how he got that, but... Does De, does Deku have a prayer? A chance? At, oh, gets drop kicked out of the ring. Does he have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this matchup? And, oh, Broly picking him back up after knocking him to the outside. And a fifth spear! Go, does Deku have any ribs left? Does Deku even have ribs at this point? And, oh, no, oh not again. No, no, not again, Broly, for the love of... And, oh dear God, another spear through another barricade. This is kind of like what he did to Bane back at Riot Central 2. He speared... They speared each other through every barricade known to man. What What are you do? Why? Why? Let Leave Alfred alone! That, that was just to be a dick. Oh, that was... To, you could have just stopped the count... I, th that was just Broly being an ass. That's all that was. Totally unnecessary. But it looks like Alfred's okay. I mean, he bounced off the apron. And Broly is just a sicko. He is a sicko. N n he he's an AEW fan. I knew it. I knew it. He's a sicko. And now just repeatedly throwing him into the ring post over and over again. And now into the... Just get him in the ring and pin him. Just quit, w quit waving your dick around. It's, it's big and your pubes are green. So why am I saying? Sorry, YouTube. I know I just got monetized, but it's the truth, okay? The truth sucks, okay? <laughs> Wonder why people hate the truth so much because it sucks. Oh, but, uh, Deku somehow with a counter. How is Deku doing this? Oh, and and no way. Sunset flip. One, two, not oh, not even a one. Could not hold the gargantuan monstrosity that is Broly down for not even a two. And now just throwing him into the corner. And this is just, this is becoming an uncomfortable beatdown by Broly on Deku. And a massive German suplex. This is starting to look even worse than the Grievous uh, Flash match. At least that was quick. This is just prolonged agony. Oh, and a counter, counter, oh, a springboard head scissors. Oh, oh, but Deku hurt himself on that. He hurt himself on that springboard leg scissor right there. Oh, but Deku somehow on the top rope. And a swanton into the cover. Now, can he get him? One, two. Ah, oh, damn it. Broly kicks out. Broly kicks out. Oh, does Deku have anything left? Oh, went for a knee strike, but got countered. And I, another spear. That's like the seventh one in this match. The seventh spear in this match. Uh, and now Irish. Oh, God, not again. And another one. That, that's like, what, seven or eight spears. Good Lord. Just... Oh, no, not again. Another one will do it. Another one might kill him. Oh, and, oh, counter, counter to work and Rana. Hook in the leg. One, two, three. No way. Deku got, oh, my God. Upset of the century. Oh, did that really just happen? No, no way. Deku somehow, once again, Against all the odds, a sledgehammer and 45 bajillion spears. Broly went for it one too many times, and Deku caught him with a Hurricane Rana, hooked the leg, and got the win. Wow. That is an upset. But, ladies and gentlemen, round one is completed. Brackets busted. We'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.